Hey everybody, Core Guy Nala here, and we've got a new Hindi movie called Gold. This is starring Akshay Kumar. The dude never stops working. <laughs> He's always got a movie coming out. He's a workaholic, man. I don't know how many movies he releases a year, but it feels like five or six, which is just insane. But at least, you know, he gives us movies. And I do like the fact that he's getting into more dramas. Uh, I mean, he does a lot of dramas, but I like to see things that are like biographies. So we had Padman, which is based off of a real guy. And this one, who is based off of... Uh, Arguably the greatest field hockey player of all time. And I like this poster at the bottom. It's very national pride kind of poster. I love the, the waving flag in the background with the, the gold medal in there. The nice font, the, the way that it's written, the, the line thing at the top with the, the date. It just looks like a great poster. Something that would incite national pride. Uh, in America, we do things like that as well. You know, you have American flag in the background of something that's supposed to bring national pride, which usually is like military movies or sports movies like this one. Anything that highlights a great American. And this is highlighting a great Indian. So I love the way that poster looks. It's probably one of my favorite Indian posters that I've seen in a, uh, this year, even though we're still near the beginning of the year, I'm saying it's going to be up there with one of the best posters of the year, in my opinion, just because of the artistic value of it, the national pride, it just looks like a good poster. So I do have English subtitles on this. So let's check it out. Let's see what they got for us on uh, this field hockey player. हम एक पागल बंदा ही हम हॉकी से प्यार करते हैं हीज बिन गाले अपना देश से प्यार करते हैं 1946 लेकिन ब्रिटिश इंडिया के नाम पे अभी तक हम लोग ब्रिटिश के लिए खेलते थे आई लाइक द पीरियड पीस ऑफ इट पूरा कंट्री में हम अकेला ऐसा आदमी है जो आपको वचन दे सकता है ऐसा टीम लेके आएगा ऐसा टीम लेके आएगा जो ओलंपिक में जाएगा और आपके सामने देश का सामने गोल्ड लाके रखेगा आई प्रॉमिस Oh, dear, that's right. That's during the Nazi Olympics. Well, that was Nazi Olympics was 36, wasn't it? Or 38. Abhi tak India chup tha. Ab hum log bolega aur duniya sunega. Nice. So right off the bat, the Nazi symbol. Now the Nazi Olympics, I think were in 1938-ish. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but does this mean that he played during the Nazi Olympics? Which makes sense. I mean, a lot of Olympians played in multiple Olympics, but the movie takes place in 1946. So I'd like to know where they're, where that where they're going with that, because that would be in the height of World War II. And I don't think the Nazis were allowed in the Olympics during World War II, or I could be wrong about that as well, but that's what I think I seem to remember. Now, this is a Z Studio and Z Music Company, which means this uh, video is going to get a copyright claim, but they tend to not give blocks. They'll just claim the video, so huh. fingers crossed. I love the period piece. You guys that have watched me for a while know that I love period pieces. And they got that part right. You got the cars, the aesthetics, the production, all of that. The small details looks like 1946. And that really excites me. So he's an alcoholic. Is that part of his character? Is that, I mean, is that the real guy? Was he an alcoholic or is this like near the beginning of his story where he was an alcoholic and then when he got into training for sports he gave up alcohol or was he just always drinking throughout 
but he's a crazy Bengali, is what he says. I mean, this wide shot looks great. Now, the part of this ceiling, this rooftop, that's CGI. At least I think it's CGI, because the shadows even look kind of uh, computer graphic. But the stadium, look at the age of the stadium and the, the field, it looks really good. See, and this is what I'm talking about, like with a period piece, you've got the suits and the costumes, the haircuts, all of it looks like 1940s. Uh, he's holding an Indian flag. I'm wondering if uh, he's not supposed to have it or does he pull it out and wave it? See, look at that. You got all of the cars, the buildings, the costumes, even the font for 1946 looks like something out of 1946. So he's saying because it's British India at the time that they've been playing for the British in the Olympics is what I'm assuming. So now he wants to play for India and he's like trying to convince maybe other players to join him to play for India, play for their country. Now the flag that he's holding has a spinning wheel a, for yarn or string for thread for sewing. Was that something during the time are they just, are they highlighting the workers? So is he tr trying to bring the workers into this? Or was there something about that style of flag that I don't know of from history? I would love for you guys to let me know about that because that's, that's interesting. That makes me curious. So just like any great sports player, they always study the strategies of the game. And I like that they're showing that. I wonder if they'll get into more specifics on that. Because if they do go into detail on the strategies of the game, people like me that don't know much about field hockey, and field hockey is not like the most popular sport. It's, well, in America, it's not. I don't know how popular it is in other countries. I haven't really heard much from field hockey. Mostly it's international football and like cricket and things like that, but not field hockey. I haven't had anybody really talk about field hockey. So if they get into the strategies of the game, I think that would bring the audience into wanting to know more and being able to be more invested during the uh, actual sports moments when they show those. Now, it makes total sense that they would bring this movie out on Independence Day because it is very much of them playing for India, a lot of Indian national pride and trying to move away from the British so it makes perfect sense it's actually the i think this is the best release date that they could do this is what i love about period pieces you get like the ashtray the glasses the suit the cask the the walls the stuff that's on the wall the way that the chair and the the bar looks i mean it's very period piece it looks like it's 1946 and i love that it means they put some good thought into the small details of what's in the background. So in this scene, he's wearing a suit when he's cheering with the uh, rest of the players. Does that mean he becomes a coach? Did he coach the team that was in the 46 Olympics? That he was a great player and then became a coach and that's when they won the... I would wonder. I would wonder if he was a coach. You guys can let me know because you know a lot more about him than I do. So... Comment below and let me know your thoughts. I'm really interested. I want to see it. I like period pieces. I like biopics, uh, especially when they're closely based on the person. Not a big fan of overly dramatized biopics. I would borderline would rather have a documentary. But if you're going to do a good dramatization movie, I want parts of his life and things to be accurate to the real person. But you guys let me know what you think about it. Also, tell me some of those things about him I would like to know. And the flag with the, uh, the thread wheel and the, on the flag. I also have links in the description below for all of my social medias. There's a bunch of stuff down there. I mean, check it out. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. 
and I will see you on the next video. Quick promotion, everybody. I'm having fun using the Stardust app, which allows you to make up to a 30 second reaction to movies and TV shows. And I'd love to see your reactions and put them in my videos. If you're interested in that, download the Stardust app. I've got a link to it in the description below. And make sure to follow Coracon. And whenever you make a reaction, make sure that you tag Coracon so that I get notified and can see it. Whenever I make a reaction video or a movie review and I see your video, I will take clips from it and put them in my video. If you're a YouTuber, make sure to put your YouTube channel name on your reaction if you want free promotion. And if you're a fan of my channel and just want to be in there, great. So tag me on your reactions. And to be totally transparent and honest with you guys, when you download the Stardust app, the first person that you follow gets credit for the download. So if you want to follow me and give me credit, make sure that you follow me first. If you want to give your favorite YouTuber a credit, make sure that you follow them first. But either way, make sure that you follow me at some point and tag me in your reactions so I can get them in the videos.